Guys, look who we have. Look who we have. Hello, everyone. Oh my gosh, she's gonna do a workout. She's gonna kick our little butts. Yes, yeah. but that's okay. What I'd like to say is like all people, I've been training for like 25 years with weights, in the gym, out of the gym, at home workouts, you name it. Um, especially when after I had my kids, I couldn't get to the gym, so I had to bring my workouts into my house. There were times in my life when the gym intimidated me. Um, I didn't understand the machines. Mm -hmm. I always like to say every um, every professional, every pro, every they started as a beginner. You have to start somewhere. So I always like to start with the basics get a good foundation, get comfortable with weights, get comfortable with body weight. Love it. Yeah, get really good um, form, and then you just build from there. And the more comfortable you get, and the more you do, and then you add stuff on, and before you know it, you're a pro too. Yes. yes. <laughs> She's gonna do our arms right yeah. now. Yeah, because my arms need some help. Yeah. Okay, okay, so we're gonna do upper body, and in my opinion, I think a very um, fit, athletic look always has really nice round shoulders. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You know? Yes. So through the years, I have focused on my delts, my shoulders, okay, okay. a lot because I feel that even on on women, it's still it's a very it's feminine look. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, I don't do a whole bunch of arms. I'm not really interested in in having humongous biceps. As you, or as you like, I know. You know it's it's so like, hard well, hard. I don't want to be. I want to be I want to be strong, but I think that really nice delts make yeah. for a really nice upper body. So I'm going to show you my favorite delt workout. Yeah. Okay. So and um, so what we can do is we're gonna we'll grab some weights. You know what? I'll come over here. I'm going to um, get you guys each a pair. I've got a couple tens, and I think you guys can each handle ten. I can. Hand yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would Maybe. say so. Maybe we'll see. I would say so. Okay. And then these are also tens. Yeah. All right. And here's the thing, if you're a beginner and you're like, I don't even want to use tens or fives, you can use water bottles. You oh, can yeah. use anything just to add a little bit of resistance mm -hmm. and get really good at form. Yeah. Because okay. form is number one. Yes. The weight can always. Because you don't want to hurt yourself. So you want to make sure that you have your form correct. Exactly. Okay. All right. So I'll grab my 15s over here. Uh -huh. All right. Now the thing that, the one of my favorite things to do, okay. um, I love Arnold presses. Okay, what now Arnold Presses, it's a real famous, we know, I think they call them Arnold because of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right? Okay. Right. No. okay. But they're going to start right up here in front of your face. Okay. And we're coming around and we're pushing up. We're coming back down and we're coming front. Okay, and this one's a great exercise for warming up. And it's not about speed, it's about controlling the weight, it's about feeling the muscle. Okay, because you know yeah. if you're if you're if you start feel, you know as you get better, it's like yeah, a lot of people you see them and they're in the gym and they're pushing and they're fast, <laughs> but that's because their form is already really good. And this exercise, in my opinion, is a great one to warm up the shoulders, the delts. Um, when you're standing here, to so not put pressure on your back, have a little bit of a bend in the knee, okay. and you're just coming up and pushing and right in front of your face. And so I would say anywhere from 10 to 15 is a really good number. Okay. Ooh, and you'll feel that, that burn, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Woo! All right, I'll give you a breather. Then you Ooh. put these down. Now, well, whenever you put the weights on the ground, I know all this stuff seems like super beginner and super, no, but, that's good. but you know what? It's like always lower the weights with okay. your knees okay. and your upper body. Oh. Don't drop with your back. If you're gonna go pick them up also, don't just pick up, always down and pick up with your legs. Because you will end up using oh, heavier weights eventually and you don't want yeah. to lack the form yeah. and throw your back out, yeah. which I've had that happen and it's not a fun yeah. time. No, 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 I didn't yeah. know that. So yeah. that's great information. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I'm, like, I'm still a beginner. I love working out, I love doing weights, but I'm still a beginner. So. Yeah, okay. Well, I think, seriously, the things that I'm showing you are things that I still do. Oh, so awesome. I come into the gym, Arnold presses, yep. but maybe I'll be using 20s or 25s. Okay. It's just a matter of challenging the body, Okay. but the basics are still there. Awesome. You'll find the best of the best doing Arnold presses. Everything I show you are things that 
just about every fit body you see. When, okay. when, you're, when you look on Instagram, people get very intimidated. They do. And they see a lot of fancy, you know, exercises uh -huh. where people are doing this. All. Keep it basic. Keep it basic. Keep it basic. Focus on the muscles you want to build. It's really not necessary. There's lots of cool workouts to keep you from getting bored. But the, to be honest, every really great fit body is built on the fundamentals. Yeah. Like, okay? I love it. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is um, now you can also just do regular just presses. Okay? okay. So um, this is also, so instead of doing an Arnold press where you're bringing it to the front, you're just having the weights up here okay. and you're just pressing up. And then you're coming down, control down, and you'll press up. And these are just, these are called just like shoulder presses. Shoulder. Okay? And these, like I said before, about 10 to 15 reps. If it's too easy, you can always go up and wait. Okay? So you can already feel this bad. Yep. Oh yeah, muscular already. Yeah, when and up. And to change it, to challenge yourself, and to change it, changing the tempo where you're going down one, two, three, oh, hold, yeah. push one, two, three. You can change it up, and then you can also rep it out where you do a little bit faster. But like I said, a little bend in the knee. Support. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's as easy Ooh. as it is to give your shoulders a little bit of a pump. I mean, that's like. Basically, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell I'm so out of shape. <laughs> and you're Woo! targeting those delts. Yes. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm going to get some water. Okay. okay. All right. Water <laughs> break over there. Um, so, so another thing um, that we have to do for delts. So you can hit delts a lot of different ways. Delts yeah. are it's not just, a lot of times when people do biceps, like we'll be doing some curls yeah. and some hammers. Uh -huh. You want to hit the different muscles in the different directions. Because okay. um, muscles are kind of like they kind of overlap. They have the rear delts, the rear delts, yeah. the uh -huh. front delts, side delts. So what the next the, thing. What's the one that's like right here? Like our, this. Our triceps? Like right back here, like for triceps. Okay, okay. triceps. We'll, okay. we'll get to those. We'll get okay. to those guys. Yeah. I just love, like, that was my first, like, muscle that kind of like popped out. Yes. I was like, Ooh. Well, what happens is when people say they want to be toned, yeah. that's the amount of conditioning. As you continue to lose body fat, yeah. you will then reveal your muscle underneath. Yeah. So when people say, oh, I just want to do cardio right now and burn the fat, you're doing yourself a disservice. Mm -hmm. okay. You should be building the muscle underneath okay. as your body fat's coming down, oh. because then you'll be oh. left with a really nice toned fit body. Yeah. 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 So through the yes. years, even when I was struggling with my weight, when I was heavier, and when I was really, you know, um, fuller than what I would want to be, okay. I did not neglect the weight. Okay. Because I knew that first of all, that extra weight that we have is kind of also helping the fuel yeah. to build the muscles. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, and then if you wait to lose, a lot of times that term skinny fat. Where you go, great, okay. I lost all this weight, but I have yeah. no muscle in her knees. Now I'm yeah. just hanging. Yeah. No, you want to firm at the same time, and your weight loss will go faster. Oh. If you are, if you, you are, the more muscle you have in your body, the more um, you are burning, your metabolism is burning. That because, oh, right? So okay. the more muscle you have, that that's sense. lean tissue. Yeah. Lean tissue actually fires up that metabolism yeah. and will help you lose faster. Well, and you guys all know the American surgeons all say weight training. Yes. So want you to do right. Right. Training. Right. Training. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. even with bands. I mean, you can do things that I'm showing you guys. If you just have bands at home, Ooh. you can even do things like I'm showing you where you can do oh. band work. And so if weights are not something that you can bring into your house, but you can buy some bands and these have handles, you can literally oh. do Arnold presses. Oh, yeah. look at that. You can do, business. right? Yeah. All this great oh. stuff. And you can do this right in the comfort of your own home. Yes. But I'm telling you, if you if you take these basics and you do join a gym and you want to go into the gym, you will look like you know what you're doing and you don't have to be intimidated because yes. these are all found, like, Fundamentals. These are things that every well, let's take up no space. This is great for no. traveling. Like I'm going yeah. on a on a trip um, to uh, Alaska. I'm going to be taking my oh, bands. Oh yeah, because you can do it anywhere. Yeah, yeah. you, you can be on the yeah. yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Or yeah. listening to the podcast. Or exactly. listening to the podcast. Yeah, exactly. So the next thing 
I like to do for shoulders. Okay. So again, if you pick up your weights from using your legs, I like to do side lateral raises. Okay. So this is gonna get the side, so you guys know. So we're gonna try to keep our arms as straight as possible and control Ooh. up to the side, hold for a second. Now you have a slight bend to your arm. Yeah, so okay. if you can't, like this is a little heavy for me. Okay. So if it is a little heavy, but you can either straighten your arm or if you need to do a little bend in your shoulder, okay. as okay. long as you are using your delts and really pulling up, you're still targeting those side lats. Oh, good to know. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll still feel that burn. Oh, I feel oh, like doing about 15 of those babies, right? Oh my God, yeah. I think I have like two pound weights at my house. Yeah, oh that's okay, but you're gonna get better and then you're gonna probably have to invest. Upgrade. <laughs> yeah, we'll upgrade. Yeah. Is that what I do? Totally. Feel little oh, little. yeah, that's like, I can feel that yeah. immediately. Okay, so breathing. How okay. do you breathe when you're doing weights? Do you breathe in as you go up? Yes, okay. and then, so I like to breathe when I'm doing the actual motion, okay. so I don't all I'm breathing in. Yeah. I push out. So this is for our biceps, and these are obviously bicep curls, alternating dumbbell bicep curls. Oh, so you inhale as it's coming up and out when it goes down. Yes. Yeah. When I'm pushing, I'm, I'm pushing through. That that's my breathing. I mean, you have to make sure to breathe. I used to always hold my breath. Yeah. And feel lightheaded. Especially you need to keep focus on your breathing. When it starts getting like harder, I'm always like, oh, yeah. Just hold it. Yeah, totally. No, you have to make sure you focus on your breathing. So these are alternating bicep curls, and you really want to, you know, focus on that bicep and focus on the the the, the up and the negative, the positive and the negative down. So that way the stress, it's time under tension, the stress stays on the muscle, okay? And then, like I told you before, there's a variation, you're gonna do hammer curls, okay. and these are alternating hammer curls. Bring up one at a time, and they're just gonna go straight up, but they're gonna stay, instead of curling, you're just gonna they're keep them like a hammer, okay. and you can do alternating. And I really like to do alternating because then you can really focus and squeeze on that arm up and curl up. Oh yeah. Right? I like these. I looked down at my arm, I'm like, oh, what does it look like? That's okay. Underneath <laughs> that, hey, it's going look to. Like her. You're going to be building and before you know it, as, as you're melting away your, your extra weight, you're going to see all that muscle and then you're going to be so glad you did this. I yes. promise. I used to be so like... Go to the gym and it's like day after day after day. Is this working? And then all of a sudden, it just pops out. The, the, the weight starts falling off, and you see all this beautiful muscle, and you're like, Oh, there it is! I can mm -hmm. see it. Like, right? I can see like the strength that is building as you yes. do it. Yeah, you can see and you can feel it where it's supposed and to. And when you're really squeezing, squeezing. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Those are great for your biceps. And biceps, you know, you really, there are so many things you can do. You can you can use a bar, um, but this, this it's not necessary and it's like fine to use um, weights or like I showed you with the band, you can also use bands. So the next thing that we have, um, you were talking about triceps. Yes. So if you're at home and you have a weight, um, and we, you know, we're going to go back to also some front delts before okay. we finish, but I just want to show you guys, you're just going to grab one weight okay. for your triceps. You can do this with one or two arms. You're going to put the weight up over your head and hold the tri the, the belt, the dumbbell like this. Okay. okay. Ears are close. The, the, um, your elbows are tight next to your ears and you're just going to come down, keeping those elbows pointing to the sky and press up and down and press up. And this is gonna target your triceps oh. without having to use any fancy machines. Cause you can use anything for this. Absolutely, you can yeah. take a water jug, okay. put it behind okay. you and okay. push it up and you're really gonna feel it. Now, if you have a weight, if this is not, if this is too hard, you can eventually stand here like this. Now you might not be ready for this or you may, and you you can do one at a time the same thing. Okay. And you're, and you're really gonna feel that. I do feel it. It's sick. Elbow. Well, up I can't even lift that. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
hands. So two hands it is. Okay. Yes. You'll be up. What am I going to do? There we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can feel already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the back of the arm, man. Where it's at. Ooh. Well, and I know in the weight loss surgery community, the back of the arms are a huge thing. Yeah, so if you skin. start on yeah. it in the beginning of your journey, yes. it's going to tighten itself. Yes. So so it. you're going to you'll build some muscle to help that area stay firm. I mean, look, even if you haven't been through weight loss surgery, yeah. somebody like me, I haven't. I mean, I've, I've had been overweight, but I, I didn't go through that, but I still have the loose skin. This mm -hmm. just kind of goes along with life and age, and um, our arms do lose some elasticity back there. Mm -hmm. So, so making sure that you work the tricep will definitely, okay. okay? Okay. Now, another thing is if you guys, I'm gonna just step over here for a second. Just grabbing some bands now. Grabbing oh, some bands. Oh, I bands. Okay. Uh-oh, my arms are now, already sore. These are oh, bands. I don't know if you have bands or not, but if you do, this little guy, I'm gonna show you what you do for triceps as well. Oh my god. Okay. okay. So hook your band, okay? And you okay. can get creative. I've seen people do some real fun stuff with their, with cool. their bands. Again, for triceps, you're going to stand right here like with your legs together okay. and your elbows tucked in close okay. and you're pushing down, down. Oh. okay, oh. and that's, and you're squeezing and pushing, so tricep push down, okay, nice. okay, and again, if it gets too easy, you can do it with one oh. arm, but that's, I mean, even I'm not, you know, <laughs> depends on the band. If yeah. the band is a little looser, you'll be able to do it. Okay. If not, okay. Okay. So there we go. So for triceps, and then another area that um, you can do with bands that's great is this area of the back. Everybody wants to tighten up yeah. these things uh -huh. back here a little yes. bit. So what we do is stand here with our knees bent, and you're just gonna pull. Nice. You do a stretch. Oh. Pull, and you're tighten all that up in the back. Oh. Pull. So you pull your core in, you pull everything you pull your core in, in and okay. give it a nice stretch up here, okay? okay? And your head is down, everything's kind of flat and then oh, pull, okay. and you're using, you're pulling with your back muscles, not just your arms, but your back muscles. Uh, which we all need better back muscles. Yes, like definitely. That. Okay, so this is a really good one. Okay. And then if you wanted to, you could always turn around and you can even do triceps Ooh, overhead shit. like this with the band. Look at her go. Wow. I mean, you can really do total body workouts with a freaking band. Yeah, you know? yeah I've I mean, seen it. I've seen people do it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is something else you can do at home with just a band. Okay, I want to try all that. Right. I want to try that one where you're. Okay, so. All right, so you're gonna make sure you stand back to where, now I'm gonna have, uh, you're gonna grip it, I think it's like this. Okay, okay. Over, okay. over, okay. like this, like that, okay. And then you bend. So, or maybe like that, like this. Oh, okay. Okay. But, okay. But lower down, yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, your knees slightly apart, okay. okay. And then you're gonna have your arms straight, okay. okay. And then you're pulling in oh, and tightening up like a rub, like a rub. Okay, actually come down further on the band. Right there? Yeah, okay, okay. ready, bend over a little bit. All this is gonna lengthen out, and now you're pulling back and squeezing your back oh, up here. Oh, I feel okay. it. Okay, I feel you're it. You're gonna pull it and pull it down into your stomach almost. Like you're pulling okay. into, into like that, that here right. to, to like where you pull up your pants. It's like here Ooh. to okay. here. And you're squeezing your back. I mean, look, all these things are like riding a bike. Oh yeah. You gotta learn yeah. the form. I've never you gotta learn the feel before you can advance. Yeah. But once you get the form down, yep, you're kind of rowing and you're squeezing all of this. You know? Oh yeah. yeah. There we go. All, all right. right. Okay. Now you're up. You do it. Oh yeah. And then you can try that tricep push down. Yeah, that one. I like that one. I'm gonna have to get some bands. So I, I'll have you do it. Well, you know what? You can do a row with an underhand grip too. Sure. So see how that feels for you. Do you feel? And if you need a little more resistance, you can step back. But you're gonna pull, and you're gonna be pulling with all these side muscles to tighten all that. Love it. Oh yeah. Yep. And then pull and squeeze. Oh man, you are. You're getting it. You're getting it. <laughs> yes. The first two years of my journey, I did work out a shit. 
you are. Yeah, back. it's just important to find stuff that you love doing mm-hmm. and then keep it going. Yeah, because it's gonna build and it's gonna it's mm-hmm. gonna pay off and add, it's gonna yeah, make my weight loss journey even yeah. faster. Yeah, we need one of those. We need yeah. one of those. Yeah, we need one of those. All yeah. these schools, like everything that I have in my gym, is is just it's gravy. It's great that I have yeah. it, but it's not necessary. Yeah. I actually got all this after COVID was over. Oh, that's and funny. the gym's already open. And then I brought all my stuff down because this was my gym set in New Jersey. Oh. And um, oh. and I was like, actually, all I worked out with was my tire. And my boyfriend would like, you know, I would sit on the tire and he would bench press the tire. We, we were just getting yeah. creative. So the more creative you get with wow. things that you have, you'd yeah. be so surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, I could actually do this with two jugs of water. I yeah. Think this is, yeah. You know, I do push-ups on the counter. Yeah. So like when yeah. I stand yeah. there, we'll just like yeah. do this. And it's, I mean, you're just standing there anyway, so you might as well. Exactly. And like, moving around, because I'll literally like, we'll be talking, I'm just like, eh, we're doing this. Right? Yeah. yeah. Or I'll be a little bit, we'll be talking. Like, and I'll start like, stretching. Yeah. You yeah, I, I think it's nice to do it anywhere. anywhere, 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 and it's really, um, I mean, body weight stuff is is great because I mean, you can, we'll do a lot of body, we'll do some stuff when we do our leg workout yes. Yes. together, but um, you can really modify stuff. So the other thing that I wanted to show you for the delt workout, if you want to grab your weight again, a few more things that you can do for delts, and like I said, with the variations, um, you can also do things where you do V-ups, where instead of going just straight out to the side, you can do V-ups, where you come up like a V. Shoot! Okay? (laughs) Shoot, son! And then the other thing, you can take just one, and you can do front raises. So you just come right here, and you just raise it up to the front. Okay, and then sometimes people will do things where they'll do a hold, so they'll hold, they'll do, you know, his tempo is, yeah, exactly. Like driving a car? Yeah, like driving a car. Yeah, exactly. So you'll just pull up and you have one, two, because it's just time under tension that we're looking for. So if you feel like, you know what, going like this now is a little easy, all right, now hold it. Yeah. And now you just went into a whole new ball game, right? You can build the back of the the arm. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can even bring it in right here. And you can do your presses right from here. Oh. Yeah. So you guys only need like one 10 pound weight. Yeah. It really, you really, and then like, if you stay right here, go back to your dips. Right oh. here. Oh. Right here. Oh, yeah. I all know. the shortcuts. The classes I used to take would have this all of them in it. <laughs> this is and awesome, right? I love that because you're literally just doing like three workouts in one. It's, it, this is really, really great full body cool. stuff. And, um, you know, it doesn't require a lot of equipment. No. If you know what you're doing, and you, like I said, you just use the fun, the, the foundation, the yeah. fundamentals of weight training and resistance training. Mm-hmm. Um, there are only so many ways, but we get intimidated when we see these, you know, influencers doing all these fancy workouts. Yeah. That it's not it necessary. That, Those yeah. workouts do not build what I built for my physique, mm-hmm. and I, you know, and I always aim to have an athletic physique, but I, I it wasn't necessary for me to get all crazy and start reinventing things. Yeah, like yeah. stick with the basics of, of yeah, yeah. you know muscle building and that those fancy workouts. I guess if you've been doing it a while, you get bored, try something new, fine. But you know those things are also injuries can happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you're trying to watch somebody online who's doing something that revolves a lot of fancy right, stuff, like coordination. Like I'm not coordinated, but I got good balance. Right. Like, doing all these random things at the same time. Like I don't know. No, no. And the other, thing, the other thing I do want to mention is that if you have knee issues, you we've done this whole workout standing up. Yeah. But you can do everything. Oh, yeah. Like I've been doing, like here's a seat over here. I don't know if you can still see me. Yeah. And you have a seat. Yeah. You can literally do everything yeah. that I have been doing. Look at that. Seated. Everything can be seated. And yeah. a lot of women. You can um, kneel. Yeah. You can kneel. Exactly. I mean, you can be. You can be around the world. Yep. But if you have if you have knee issues, if you have hip issues, if you have a problem standing too long, um, th- th- you do not have to stand that whole time because you'll end up really you'll really be hurt. hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, yeah. you want to keep going. Yep. You don't want to get hurt. That's the whole point. Like, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Stick to the basics. Yeah. Yes, it's yep. the kiss. Keep yes. it simple. Keep it. Yeah. Yep. We've always said that. So. Yep. And then um, if you do feel any pain or soreness the next day, our devotion pain stick. Yes. yes. You wow. know. Take your sleep recovery, take your pain and stick. All these things are part of a healthy fitness lifestyle. They're things that I use 
And um, it's just basically, you know, just like our hashtag, until it's done. Yeah. We're not planning on stopping this healthy lifestyle anytime soon. So Mom, all of these tools are here to keep you going until yeah. it's done. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's the arm workout. Yeah. And then we'll be back with the leg right. workout. And let us know in the comments or whatever. Yeah. Let us know what you think about this workout. Let us know if you tried it. Yeah. Share it with your friends. Yeah. Um, hashtag tag stop. somebody that loves you. Yes. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag stop, drop, and exercise. Yes. Yes. Tag us in it. Tag Ada in it. Tag yes. your emotion in it. We want to see all your workouts. Yes. Go absolutely. Go to YouTube and do the subscribe button. Do the little bell so it notifies you. Yeah. Literally, that means every time we're on and something's new, it tells you. So now you know. Oh, here it oh is. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh. that we've worked out hard. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. And you know what? We can list all these exercises. We'll go yeah, through yeah. and make sure we list the workout, yep. how many you should do. If one round is 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 good enough for you, that's yeah. fine. And maybe next week you'll do two and eventually three sets and, and we'll size them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Slowly build. Yeah. Slowly yeah. Build. And don't forget to go to Devotion and buy pieces. Buy them.